Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's edition of the McHoney Setup Shop AFIX Tutorials. Uh, this week we are at the incredibly wild looking iRacing Super Speedway. Um, so strap in and uh, let's get to it. Uh, first thing you'll notice here, uh, the banking around this place is incredible. Uh, that's definitely the most banking I think I've ever seen. Uh, and the apron here is very flat so whether you're racing or qualifying you want to avoid the apron at all costs because it's gonna scrub a lot of speed in qualifying if you hit it uh, or hit too much of it and in the race it's gonna get you out of control uh, being in a tight pack of cars you don't want that uh, just like every other super speedway that we cover you want to avoid this wall proximity so just give yourself that cushion of protection from the wall there I don't think you need to be any higher than three or four lanes up. Uh, even in the race, I don't know how the race is going to play out. I would imagine in a tight pack, uh, you're going to see a lot of three wide for sure. I don't know about four, but it'll be uh, very interesting nonetheless to see how that plays out. I think it's really important to know as well that with the uh, with the length and the banking, and not only in the corners but the straightaways, uh, this very bottom lane is like a speed slot um, you're literally a tenth like going through the corners you're like a tenth off uh, just in the corners alone if you were just to run the second lane compared to the first uh, so the warm-up lap earlier that I was doing I was like two tenths off riding in this third lane up here trying to get speed for my second lap it was, it was just crazy um, so you want to hold the bottom but as you'll see me doing in this video I'm trying to move up a little bit before the entrance to the corner and there's two reasons why I'm doing it one is to straighten out the entry a little bit try to keep as little wheel input in it as possible the second is these bumps now this place has a little bit of character to it there there's some decent sized bumps on entry and exit of both corners at both ends of the speedway so I'm trying to get over the bump and then turn my wheel because with the amount of banking you have, the banking is naturally going to pull the car down. So I try to move up going into the corner and let the banking pull the car down so I'm still keeping my wheel straight. And then once I get over the bump, then I try to turn my wheel and uh, go through the corner. Uh, as, again, everything, you're trying to do it as smooth as possible. You don't want to be making abrupt lane changes and cranking on the wheel and going through the corner here. You, you want to find that happy spot and just hold it. You don't want to be swatting flies on the corner. Uh, you're just going to scrub a lot of speed. Uh, once I complete this lap here, I'm just going to stop and we'll go back and do the in-car for you guys so you guys can get your in-car perspective.
Okay guys, um, that'll pretty much cover it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave a comment down below and we will get back to them throughout the week. Um, it's a shorter video, but I don't really know how much more uh, I can cover for this because the racing is going to be so wild and unpredictable. Uh, just like every other super speedway, that qualifying I think is the most important thing for you guys to get some track position. Um, if you guys like the video, please consider leaving a like. Lastly, if you're uh, not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you can see these videos every Monday uh, when McConey Setup Shop posts them on YouTube. Uh, I'm already looking forward to doing Chicagoland for you guys because that's one of my favorite racetracks. And I'm incredibly excited to run laps around there and show you guys and try to help out. Um, and last but not least, just best of luck this week. Uh, hopefully you guys can avoid the carnage and get yourself some good finishes. All right. Uh, we'll see you on track and we'll see you next week.